Build a parallax system in two minutes? This is OneUp Indie, and in this video tutorial you find a very fast plus very easy way to do a 2D scrolling for Game Maker Studio. Parallax scrolling is an artificial way to trick the brain by moving backgrounds according to its distance to the observer. If you look outside the window of a driving car, train or a plane, you see that closer things move faster away and more distant ones slower. This basic principle is being used for 2D games which, well, have no third dimension at hand. How does this work? Basically you need to set up two or more backgrounds, grab their ID and then move the whole layer horizontally, if needed also vertically. To define how much to move the layer you need a linear interpolation or short lerp function. Linear interpolation is quite useful and easy to use once you understand its power. It needs simply two values to compare and one for the percentual value to give back. A quick example may illustrate this. If you lerp between 0 and 10 and you want half of the value between those two, you go for 50%, so you write 0.5. And one would return 10. Two would return a double value, which would be 20 now. You get the gist. So what does this have to do with scrolling? Layers are generally static. Once set up they stay and do not move at all. The trick is here to use the lerp function and use as a start value 0 and the camera x position. With a third input you can adjust in the step event the now dynamic background layer relative to the moving camera. And that is it. Basically we just have an instance layer we have the, where we have the player and then we have different kind of backgrounds. The first one which is the nearest, so it's the biggest one. Then following less near, distant and very far away. And one last layer which is just in color, we have something in the very background. So let's get into our controller which we have set up in the top left corner. And this one will just control our parallax scrolling. Because if we start the game now, nothing will happen. The player will just go from left to right, the camera will follow, but there is no real parallax scrolling because all the layers are now static and they're just in the background, they just do nothing. So we just go in here and define a few variables which we call like the, almost like uh, the, the, the backgrounds. So we go for near and then we say okay we want to get the layer and we get it by get id let's zoom in so we can see that better and we just take the name of it and with this we can store our background layer into this variable and then we just do the same for all the other layers we just copy that in here just quickly so we got everything set up and then we have everything here. We don't need the color one because it's not moving anyway so we just don't use it at all. Then still near, distant and far away, far away. Okay, so we get all set up. So we go in here and just define our x value of the layer we want to move and we just go in it just need, needs two parameters first of all the layer we want to use which we already created and stored in this value and the x position we want to move it to so how do we get that position we just go for lerp and we want to lerp between a zero value which is the start value which is nothing and then of course we want to get our camera get view x of our camera view uh, camera and then here's the most defining factor how much we want to go towards the camera for example if you go for a zero value it won't move at all and if you go a one it would just basically follow the camera which we don't want as well so we go because it's the uh, closest one we go for 50% between it starting and the camera and this we repeat for the four other ones but because they are a little bit farther away they get different kind of values for example this one goes for 0.7 this one goes for 8.5 and and the last which is in the very very um, corner goes for 
the well closest one to the camera and then we create this nice effect which you just saw so as you can see we have set up them uh, in this order i didn't repeat the tile so you can see how parallax actually works so we go in and once we go to the right you see that the first the nearest one just moves the most to the left side and the more the one that which is the most distant one is moving just a little tiny little bit so for example if we say okay we go on to every background layer and just say okay let's repeat it for now because that's how you would do it in every um, 2d video game we have a full parallax system set up which is looking pretty nice so you can just play with those values depending on how far and how fast you want the scrolling to be analog with this one for example if you would go downwards and you want to parallax going downwards and upwards you would go for the y value and this is it have a good one one up in